And now to an update on the Israel-Hamas war. The Israeli military has launched a massive operation in northern Gaza's Al-Shifa hospital. Israel says it has received concrete intelligence that Hamas terrorists had regrouped inside the hospital and that there were senior Hamas operatives present who were involved in commanding attacks against Israel. Now, Israel's intelligence indicated that Hamas operatives and commanders from the northern Gaza Strip recently arrived at the hospital to use it as a command center. The IDF is conducting a high-precision operation in limited areas of Shifa Hospital, following concrete intelligence that demanded immediate action. We know that senior Hamas terrorists have regrouped inside the Shifa Hospital and are using it to command attacks against Israel. Our targeted mission isn't just an operational necessity. It's a global imperative. Now, the Israeli military also claims that the Hamas gunmen opened fire from within the hospital compound. The IDF released footage showing firing from inside the Al-Shifa hospital. The Israeli army also said that operations inside the hospital were precise and humanitarian efforts to secure patients and civilians were currently underway. Tens of thousands of displaced Palestinians have sought shelter inside the Al-Shifa complex. Our war is against Hamas, not against the people of Gaza. We seek no harm to the civilians that Hamas is hiding behind, which is why we will conduct this operation with caution and care, while ensuring that the hospital continues its important functions. For this reason, we have Arabic speakers on the ground so that we can communicate to the patients in the hospital in their own language and IDF doctors to assist those in need. We will also be conducting a humanitarian effort to provide food, water, and other supplies to the patients and civilians in the hospital compound. There is no obligation for the patients and the medical staff to evacuate the hospital, but there is and will be a passageway for other civilians to exit the hospital. We call upon all Hamas terrorists hiding in hospital. Surrender immediately. Medical facilities should never be exploited for terror. Hamas must be held accountable. Now, Israel says several gunmen were killed and around 80 suspects were in fact captured. The suspects, some of whom Israel says are terrorists, are being questioned by Shin Bet interrogators. Now, the Israeli army had carried out an operation at the Al-Shifa hospital in November of last year, sparking international outcry. But Israel defended its actions, claiming Hamas was running its operations from hospitals and medical centers. Meanwhile, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has said he will continue with the military campaign against Hamas. And Netanyahu has pushed back fiercely against what he described as international pressure over the war in Gaza. He's also reiterated his determination to send forces into Rafah. To our friends in the international community, I say, is your memory so short? So quickly you forgot about October 7th, the worst massacre committed against Jews since the Holocaust. So quickly you are ready to deny Israel the right to defend itself against the monsters of Hamas. So quickly you lost your moral compass. Instead of pressuring Israel who is fighting the most just war against the most cruel enemy, turn your pressure against Hamas and its patron, Iran. They are the ones posing danger to the region and to the whole world. No international pressure will stop us from achieving all the goals of the war. Eliminating Hamas, freeing all of our hostages and ensuring that Gaza will no longer pose a threat to Israel. In order to do that, we will operate in Rafah too. Meanwhile, Israel has sent a high-level delegation headed by the Mossad chief to Qatar for talks with Hamas. The aim is to secure the release of 40 hostages in exchange for a six-week truce in Gaza. The negotiations are expected to last at least two weeks.